Hey, bit by bit AI family. It's always a delight to have you here. Are you ready to tap into the power of large language models? If yes, today's video is just for you. Today, we're diving into our Babuga Text Generation Web UI Installers, or super convenient tool for Windows, Linux, and Mac OS systems, your portal to running large language models like Llama, Llama.cpp, GPTJ, Pythia, Opt, and Galactica. Picture it like a magic wand that installs everything you need with just one click. All the magic, known of the fuss. Think of it as your magical gateway to a world of text generation. Let's start by going to the link you'll find in the description below. For this installation, we are using a one-click installer for Windows and download our babuga-windows.zip. After you've downloaded the zip file, extract it. I suggest moving your extracted folder under your C drive, Users folder, then your Usernames folder. Now open the extracted folder and double click the start underscore windows dot back to start the installation process. Just let it run through until it's done then close it. Like an enchanted portal, the web UI and all its dependencies will install in the same folder. No need for administrative privileges, and you are good to go. For those who'd like to flex their command line muscles, we have a manual installation process that involves Conda. Again, the detailed instructions can be found here. Just follow these step-by-step -step instructions laid out. Some models like our friend GPTQ, need extra steps. Just follow the additional steps provided to make sure your model is ready to go. Remember how your favorite game needs updating from time to time? Well, this text generation web UI does too. You just need to run this command by copying this command. Then run the cmd underscore windows dot bat. Paste it then hit enter. Wait for it to finish and voila, you're up to date. Alright, with the text web UI installer set up, the next thing we need to do is get our hands on the URI models that will drive our URI adventures. Today, we will focus on two models perfect for storytelling and chatting. The Llama 13 GGML and Wizard Vicuña 13 Band Sensor GGML. First, we navigate to the Llama 13 B GGML page on Hugging Face. You can find the link in our video description below. Now, under the Files and Versions tab, we're looking for the file labeled Q for underscore 0.bin. This is what you need for our model so go ahead and hit that download button. While that's downloading, let's get our folder set up. In our text generation web UI directory, we're going to create a new folder within the models folder. Let's name it Llama 13 GGML. This is where our Llama model will live. Once the Q for underscore zero dot bin file is downloaded, we simply cut the file and drop it into our newly created Llama 13 BGGML folder. One important note. Make sure the folder name has GGML in it. This is crucial for the web UI to recognize and properly run the model. The process for downloading and setting up the Wizard Vicuña 13 Band Sensor GGML is the same as with the Llama model. The final step is to optimize our models for GPU acceleration. To do this, we'll edit the webui.py file. In this tutorial, we're using Notepad++, but any text editor will do the job like Notepad. Find the cmd underscore flags section near the top of the webui.py file. 
We're going to add the flag and GPU layers 22. If it doesn't, reduce the number by 1 until it does. I recommend adding the flag auto launch. This will be a great idea to auto load the local host web page of web UI automatically to your default browser without you needing to copy the link and paste it to your browser. I'll show you what I mean later. Once we've made the change, save the file. Now, our models are set up and ready for some serious AI action. Finally, it's time to fire up your engine. Just a few quick tweaks and we're rolling. You can launch your text generation web UI. There are two ways to do this. By entering this code into cmd underscore windows dot bat. Or by simply double clicking start underscore windows dot bat. But let us use and run the start underscore windows dot bat for now. Then choose your model by entering the number of your chosen model. Hit enter and let the AI magic begin. Your Oababooga web UI is now up and running. The web UI will automatically start up with the link you will see on your CMD. Or you can just load this link to your browser. There are various command line flags you can use to tweak your web UI to your needs. We won't go into detail here but you can find more info on this page. And there you have it, folks. You've just installed the Oberbooga Text Generation Web UI on your Windows system. But before we wrap up, remember to click that like button if you found this tutorial helpful. Share the video with your friends to spread the magic, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more AI magic. Also, for more exclusive AI tips and tricks, make sure to connect support, and subscribe to our email list at linktr.e slash bitbybitai. Stay tuned, stay curious, and keep exploring the magical world of AI. This is Bitbybitai, signing off. Catch you in the next one.